So I always kind of get the same comments from you guys whenever I show a pontoon boat doing something stupid, like whether it's going through Hallover Inlet or over on boneheaded boaters, a pontoon getting destroyed by something else, you guys always say the same thing. You can't sink a pontoon. But I'll tell you what, that won't stop the boys in Miami from trying. Welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are down here at 79th Street. And here we go, we're ready to get things started as we got our first crew coming in to approach the dock. And this is a different scene. So it looks like Wifey's going to be the captain on this one, and our guy is going to be in charge of lines. So she's got a good approach speed, at least. Making her turn in, coming in fairly soft. Again, don't want to approach anything any faster than when we're willing to hit it. And I'm going to apologize in advance, guys. I hate to say this. We've got one of our backup camera guys down at 79th today. And it's probably going to show. And she comes in. The, oh, has the brake check the first approach. And that first attempt is going to be a miss. as she's going to have to back out on it. So she's going to have to line up to give it a second shot. Oh, a little heavy on the throttle hand. That could pose some problems as they get close to the dock. Both ways right now, in reverse and forward gear, she's been a little heavy on it. So she's sliding out. She's definitely going to miss on five. She's going to have to reset this all the way back up if that's her dock of choice. So let's see. I mean, oh, it's the throttle again. I mean, I probably, the boat looks like it's wanting to drift toward four anyway. When she was coming in on five, it looked like it wanted it to go to four. So as I would tell any of you guys, if the boat's kind of wanting to do something on its own, a lot of times that's your path of least resistance. So when you're approaching the dock, if the boat feels like it's wanting to drift toward another dock and that dock's open, that may be the dock you want to go for instead of trying to fight all the conditions. So she's going to come in and line it up one more time, see if she can get it here on this attempt. Coming in a little hot this time. She's probably going to have to brake check this one to make sure she doesn't hit the dock. But I don't even know if she's going to have that problem as, again, the same issue as before. It looks like it's just wanting to slide off a of five and slide toward four. So this attempt's not going to get her on. We're going to go for attempt number three right here. So she doesn't pull all the way out this time, just tries to line it back up. But again, we're just drifting toward four. At what point do you just grasp the hint that four is the dock I want to go to? But maybe it maybe is up for the challenge. I mean, maybe she wants to learn to do this to be able to fight the conditions. Four is not always going to be an option when you go out there. One really good thing I will say about this is hubby slash boyfriend, whatever he is, is being very patient with this, which is very cool. A lot of times we'll see these couples melt down down here at the boat ramp. Don't point the boat at us. That's not where we want to go. What is she doing? And another heavy throttle hit as she tries to bring it back around. And I'm starting to lose count. I believe this is attempt four now, officially. So got a good angle this time, good speed. Our guy's ready on the lines. Is she gonna get it landed on this one? She kind of steps away from the helm, which is kind of one of those signs that she thinks she's got it. And our guy looks like he's hesitant. He's going for the pole grab. He's kind of got his fingertips on it, pushing off. I mean, why not just toss a rope around the pole, bro, and pull it in? And the stern's going to kick out. As we've already mentioned, the boat wants to go to the other direction. Ah, but she's going to put it a little tap of reverse. And this time she does it very gently. Going to bring that stern in. And good job. After several attempts, our crew will finally get this one landed. <laughs> They're going to try and get the lines put on. But still, I mean, it took a few times. 
but I'm overall impressed. Both stayed calm. Never did we really see either one of them try and panic. And, I mean, again, I still question why they didn't go for four, but, I mean, eventually you got to learn to fight the conditions at some point in time. Maybe she's just learning how to drive the boat, and he was just going to let her do it no matter what. And she was determined five was going to be made to be her B, and she did, in the end, make that happen. And <laughs> she's got the boat on the dock. Tell you what, speaking of pontoon sinking, this one's got a little bit of a lean to it too. Nothing too crazy, but it feels like she's riding a little low in the water to one side, but maybe that's just the amount of people on that side. So our crew is going to start slowly approaching the dock, trying to get this one brought on. And then we got this monster of a pontoon over to the right of them as well. Looks like some kind of massive party barge that can hold about 50 people. So we're coming in slowly toward the dock. Can't tell if they hit the dock and it's kicking out on him, or he's just trying to bring the stern back around. But whatever they're doing, they're trying to get the boat sideways with the dock. But now they're backing out. It looks like they've missed on this attempt. So he's got the motor trimmed up a little bit, so he's losing a little bit of that grip back there. He might not realize that. And here we go, coming back into forward gear, trying to get it back over there again. And the crew has to back out one more time for some reason. I mean, he's got a couple people up front. This one shouldn't be that difficult to get somebody just to toss a line over one of the poles to be able to get it on. I think part of the problem is how much he has the motor trimmed. He just He's not getting that full grip of the prop. And it's letting the boat not react the way he thinks it should react. So the bow's kind of kind of at the dock. The stern's kicking out on him. And the big boy tuner's coming out right beside him. Hold on, we're going to have a little collision action. What are they doing? And the big boy banks it out. I'm pretty sure they hit, though. We got shot blocked on it. We can't really see. But man, if they didn't hit, that was freaking close. So our guy here just decided, hey, it's time for me to roll. I'm rolling out. The other crew's stern was kicking out. He's looking back at him. They must have hit because he's looking back. He wouldn't have never thought a second thought about it if they didn't hit. And this crew is down here kind of being not very happy about it. Hands were in the air. People were talking. I don't know what they were saying, but I'm sure they were talking about that. And again, you can see <laughs> things are not perfect down here, but they're going to get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, does some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover, where me and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.